what's up good people welcome back to my youtube channel this is isaac insights thank you so much for your continuous support yes good people today is sunday to me tokeleze a church this is one hour so i'm here i want to talk to someone i don't know if this video is clear i don't know if it's clear yes so uh, today i want to talk to you I understand we have people who are planning to build their houses and today I'm here to give you I want to start preparing you and for this video it will be part one of a house that we are going to build from tomorrow so I want to give you what you need as you prepare to build your house so the title of this video will be uh, the preparation to building a three-bedroom house what you need to do prior to building a three bedroom house you know the process of construction is not uh, you need to first come up with an idea after having the idea yes i want a three bedroom house then you will have to go buy or uh, have a place where you are going to build your house that is land you may have it already but for others they always buy it so this the process of construction starts from that point. The point you imagine that, hey, I need a home. I need a house. So you go ahead, you get land. Now for me, for example, me, I decided I want to build here and you can see my house behind there. So after having a land, the next thing, we have different things, little things that you need to do prior to construction. And these things are not just little, they are always essential. The first thing after you are ready that you want to build a house, you need to get the permits. In Kenya, apart from semi-permanent, uh, semi-permanent you don't need to get the permits. But for permanent house, any permanent house, you need to go get permits. And the permits, uh, they are, you need to get them from county government, sub-county office, because we have an engineer there. You need to get certi uh, certification from public health. You need to get permit from NCA. That is uh, for those who are mostly those who live around towns. But for us who are in the villages, it's always easier because uh, it's not that expensive. But I heard those who live around Nairobi, it's always expensive because it can go up to, uh, let's say, a hundred thousand. It can go even up to uh, up to a hundred thousand. By the way, getting those permits, but it depends with the permits cost depends on your location. After you have got the permits, and prior to getting permits, by the way, I had just forgotten. Let me tell you this: with your idea, you need a plan because it is that plan that will take for permit so for to get the permits because when you go at, at those offices of of getting permit they always calculate the area of your house they don't get the perimeter i mean the perimeter and area they don't just give you a, a go ahead without knowing what you are going to build so you need a plan and when we come to a plan it means that we need an architect who will draw your house and uh, give it to you so that you can take it to the uh, to a plan now after you have your plan you have the permits we have an a problem that people always encounter people always depend on architects to give them the quotation uh, or what they need the material that ne they need to build their house for me i feel that uh, you are wrong what you are supposed to do after you have your you, after you have your um, after you have your plan and it has been certified or you have been permitted by the way permit is not it comes at number three because after getting your drawing the next thing that you are you are supposed to do is you need to ensure that uh, you, you 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 get quantity surveyor it is quantity surveyor who will give you the BQ, the breakdown of the material that you need. Eh? Breakdown of the material that you need to build the house that you have been, uh, that the architect has uh, drawn for you. 
Yes, I understand in Kenya today, an architect will tell you that, hey, I'm going to give you plus the quotation what you will need to build that house. But for me, I will say, if you happen to do that mistake, most likely you will miss out because architects cannot give you the, the, the quotation. Yes, they can, but it will be out of approximation. For those who can't afford the quantity surveyor, the best uh, option is always your fund because your fund will tell you for this house i want this and this and this and this because i am saying so because i understand we have people who are willing to build their houses but uh, they are not willing to pay by the way i find even clients who feel like uh, an architect is supposed to draw a plan for them for free i always encounter them but the truth is architect is supposed to be paid and for a three bedroom house the standard price is always 12000 shillings and then quantity surveyor will uh, if you go that route quantity surveyor will give you the quotation for you to buy the material that you need now after you have the plan you have the quotation you are supposed to take your plan for approval that's where permits come in you take there the, it's always, I think, when, when your architect has drawn that plan, please ask them to give you a blueprint for three, for four, five, I mean, five, uh, five uh, plan hard copies. And these five hard copies, one will be taken to NCA, public health, uh, county government, and then you are a public, uh, public officer in the county office, in the sub-county offices is the one who will also sign. So you will need those four, uh, four hard copies. And then one copy will be for your uh, engineers on ground or fundis. For a three bedroom in Kenya, to natumia to my fundi, engineer, they, are, they always come in when it comes to mansion, but also if you have the energy, you have money enough to hire an engineer to come and uh, look at your uh, house construction it's all it's also good and it's advisable so those are the four crucial things that you need to know as you prepare to build your house then the last thing that you need as you prepare one essential thing that you need is you need to ensure that you have the um, uh, material now because quantity surveyor or your fund will have given you the breakdown you need to get the material on your site for example the site that we are going to build from tomorrow the site how uh, the site has material already land has uh, sourced all materials and they are there on the ground you follow these steps there are low chances that you will be you you will suffer in the hands of fundies so number one, you need to get, uh, you need to come up with the idea. Number two, get land. Number three, uh, get an architect to draw a house of your dream. Number three, get quantity surveyor to give you the breakdown of the material that you want. Number four, get the permits. Number five, get the materials ready. Number six, uh, you you need also to source your fundi or your fundi, the person who will build your house sit down with him agree that this is what they that what you uh, what you want tell them that uh, i'm going uh, i bought this material we have them the quantity surveyor gave me and i want you to do this work how much are you going to pay for it then you will agree and at the end of the day you are you will be ready for construction Another thing, another essential thing that I always advise people, but that one can even come in during construction, you also need to identify a source of water for your construction. Because remember, the process of construction always need a lot of water. So you need to also plan for that earlier. Good people, up to there, I will leave it there. From tomorrow, I will be giving you the breakdown now. After you have the material, you have your fundi. What next? I will be showing this video one by one for a three bedroom house until the end. My client is ready and the material uh, and the work will be running from tomorrow. Keep, uh, keep watching this. You will keep on learning as you prepare also to build your dream home. Otherwise, if you have not subscribed, kindly just subscribe. 
we are going to 20,000 subscribers and um, I'm very happy. I just say thank you so much for all who are subscribing to Patane Kesho in the next video.